Hi everyone, my name is Ty Hayes and I'm running for Education Officer and Second Senate Rep. This is just a short video to tell you a bit about who I am and what I want to do if I get the position. I'm a third year philosophy student and whilst I really enjoy my course this is by no means all I do at uni. I've been involved with many clubs and societies in my time at Warwick, ranging from the Latin and Ballroom Dance Club, which I compete with regularly, to Umbrella, the Union Support Society. In addition to this, I've also been strongly involved with the democratic side of the Students' Union, and have been to many NUS events, but more on that later after I've told you about my policies. As Education Officer, there are three key areas I'd like to work on. These are fees and funding, making universities affordable for everyone, assessment reform, so you can get the most out of your education, and the student voice, making sure that the university listens to student concerns. To help combat the rising cost of education, fees and funding is my first key area. As part of this, I would heavily involve myself in the 2009 Governmental Review on Higher Education Funding and ally with the NUS and other student groups to prevent the removal of the cap on variable tuition fees, or top-up fees. As part of the same review, I would urge the government to make students and loans available to postgraduates, because postgrads really need the money, and what do the government have to lose by it? Finally, I would work with the university to make their scholarship scheme more accessible. Last year, according to their budget, the university underspent on their scholarships and bursaries by a whopping £634,000, and this tells me that the money is not getting through to the people that need it, and something needs to be done. You may have heard of the 17-point marking scheme that's currently being trialled in some essay-based subjects across the university. This scheme essentially gets rid of the percentage scores that students are currently given and replaces it with one of 17 marks, giving the examiners an easier time. If elected, I would want to talk to the students involved in this trial to hear their experiences and opinions and ensure that the university listens to these when they're assessing the trial for themselves. However, I do not think that changing the marking scale is enough when reforming assessment and would like to get the university to explore the possibility of giving students the option to type exams, something that some disabled students have right now and other departments are looking into, but on a departmental basis. Also in this area, I would like to persuade the university to put their anonymous marking guidelines in their calendar, the document that details all of the regulations for plagiarism, for examinations and so on, and to investigate the extension of these guidelines where possible. The Students' Union, that's what we are, a union, kind of like a trade union, we look after the interest of our members to make sure that they're not taken advantage of. To do this, we need a loud, unified voice, saying all the same thing all at the same time. To achieve this, I propose to maintain the regular meetings of officers involved with educational matters, whilst expanding this forum to include SSLC chairs at least once a term, and also encouraging the SSLC to contact the union whenever they have any issues that they feel may cross departmental boundaries. I've been involved in the union for ages now. I've been a part-time officer, I've been on council, and I've been on various committees. I've also turned up to many committees that I don't sit on, just because I feel I had something to add. The thing I feel that sets me aside from the other candidates, though, is my campaigning experience. Both my work as LGBTU campaigns officer last year, and my work in the NUS, where I've been involved with campaigns on fees, on the gay blood ban, and various others, so I really know how to make a difference. Well, that's all from me. Thank you for watching, and please vote for me, Ty Hayes, for your Education Officer and Second Senate Rep.